everyone, and welcome back to Hunt These Dollies. So tonight, uh, today, I'll be reviewing, or yeah, reviewing a original Midge from the 1960s. I believe Midge came out in 1963 as Barbie's very first best friend who could wear her clothes. You know, she could share her clothes. And Midge was kind of um, fashioned as kind of a girl next door type uh, doll to kind of um, give an option to those mothers who weren't as comfortable with Barbie's more high glam, you know, fashion model lifestyle. Midge was more of the girl next door, kind of cutesy friend of Barbie. So I've had this doll a while and I recently sent her off to uh, Pink Bubbles Doll Spa. Now, um, one of my first, I think is my second video I did on this channel was of my vintage bubble cut Barbie from the 60s, um, he refurbished her as well. So if you want uh, and go back and watch that video, you can. Um, yeah, she's a very beautiful doll, but today we're focusing on Miss Midge. And also uh, throughout the video, I'll try to put up some before pictures of her. She wasn't in terrible shape. Her hair was a little messed up. Um, but I think I lucked out. My Midge has really good eyes. Some Midges from that time period, I don't know what happened with the painting, but they either look cross-eyed or just didn't look right. But luckily mine has always looked right. And so Pink Bubbles fixed her hair, got that perfect flip going on. I mean, it. she looks new out of box. And he also uh, touched up her her face. You know, she needed her lips her lips redone. She needed you know her eyeshadow redone. Her eyebrows need a little tension. He also did her freckles. I mean, doesn't she look great? Um, I think her nails were in pretty decent shape. I think he went ahead and did her her mani and and petty. So she is ready to be displayed next to my Barbie that I recently had done by him. And um, she just looks great. I've always liked Midge. I think she's, sometimes I feel like the older dolls aren't, the older Midge dolls aren't as appreciated as some of the more modern ones, but I've always liked her. I like her, her flip hairstyle. I like her, her, her kind of girl next door look and she can wear Barbie's clothes. Right now, I just kind of have her wearing like a vintage looking robe. I think this robe is from the 70s. I kind of sent her to Pink Bubbles in this. And then underneath the robe, she is wearing, you know, this is a reproduction. She didn't come in her original swimsuit when I bought her off eBay. This is a reproduction swimsuit. And honestly, she's considered a blonde. I believe the blondes came in a light blue bikini top with dark blue shorts. But this is a reproduction that came with a redhead image. So I put I put that on her because she didn't come with her original swimsuit. But um Yeah. I I love the dolls from the from the 60s. I want to get more. I have a few, but before I review them, they also need to be sent off to Pink Bubbles so he can work his magic. And also, everybody, uh check out Pink Bubbles um webpage. It's pinkbubblesdollspa.com. You can also just Google Pink Bubbles Doll Spa. It'll show up. And check out his amazing work. I mean, his speciality um, is pretty much uh, 1959 Barbies all the way to mod Barbies, like Twist and Turn. Um, he's done quite a few midges. He's done a few of the vintage skippers, which I do have a vintage skipper. I will be sending him. <laughs> um to to fix uh he just does he does an incredible job i mean his skills are just incredible i wish i had his talent and she is just a beautiful doll i can't wait to dress her in another vintage reproduction outfit if you ever see my vintage barbies pretty much 
95% of their wardrobe is vintage reproduction because it's hard to find the original clothes on eBay in good condition for a decent price. So, but the vintage reproductions are made just as well as the originals. I mean, this swimsuit, I mean, it's made just as well as an original one. And um, it fits, the reproduction clothes fit the dolls really well. Uh, the reproduction shoes, some of them fit good, some of them don't, some of them fall off. But I mean, if you're just pretty much leaving them on a stand, you know, just look pretty on your shelf, the shoes will stay on just fine. So again, check out uh, Pink Bubbles Doll Spa. If you have vintage dolls and you collect them and they just need a little touch up here and there, I mean, Pink Bubbles is your guy. He does incredible work. He sends amazing photos, keeps you in the loop. He does an incredible job. It's, it's well worth the money spent, especially if you want your vintage girls to have new life breathed back in, into them. So go check out uh, Pink Bubbles Doll Spa. Uh, again, uh, he does have an Instagram. Uh, he hasn't posted much yet, uh, but check out his website. He's got some great blogs, I guess you could say on his website about his receptionist Vera. Vera is a big deal. Um, she's awesome. She makes all the dolls feel welcome at the doll spa. So just go check Bobby out. Also, if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I and stay tuned for more doll reviews. That's what I do. I just review dolls. Vintage ones, some modern ones. I have, you know, I just have a lot of dolls to talk to for you, go over and talk about. So I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.